The following program is produced in conjunction with Madison County Schools and Time Warner Cable. Twenty-four hours, seven days a week, twenty-four-seven. Madison County School Sports. dot com. Thanks to our great sponsors: State Farm Insurance, Jerry Gobel in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Renfro's Paint and Collision in Richmond and Berea, Eastside Community Church, Richmond, Premier Home Care and Premier Rehab, Guardian Bank, Hopper's Jewelry, Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, Richmond, WKYT.com, Berea Online, Richmond Tourism, and the Richmond Chamber of Commerce. Renfro's Collision, the only body shop with two Madison County locations, is here to serve you. At Renfro's Collision, you can look forward to the best possible repair experience. We have the latest tools, training, equipment, and technology. We have what others don't have. Why take the risk with someone else? Contact us at 369-4111 for a completely free estimate. It's your car, it's your choice. Don't let an insurance company tell you otherwise. Renfro's Paint and Collision. I want you to watch Madison County School Sports Television. Renfro's Collision, the only body shop with two Madison County locations, is here to serve you. At Renfro's Collision, you can look forward to the best possible repair experience. We have the latest tools, training, equipment, and technology. We have what others don't have. Why take the risk with someone else? Contact us at 369-4111 for a completely free estimate. It's your car, it's your choice. Don't let an insurance company tell you otherwise. Renfro's Paint and Collision. Thanks to our great sponsors. First Gear in downtown Richmond. Pro Signs in Southern Hills Plaza. L81. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Madison County School Sports Television. We are at the 44th District Finals of the Girls Championship here in Richmond, Kentucky at EKU Campus. Donald Foster and Chad Tate, and uh, big big game tonight. This is for the champion. I mean, a little, little bit of relaxed in the fact that both are going, but uh, both want to make a good showing heading into the region. You want to win the district so you can play a district loser. That's exactly right. And that Don be a little easier road. Yes, the format for the 11th region will be a, lo a winner plays a loser in the region tournament for the first game. So a little better seating. Southern played a tough game last night. 
Came they back, got to come back. That's unusual. Had to come back that what next day and play. Central's been off three days. Had some practice, so had the luck of the draw on that one. Very much so. Uh, Don, let's go over real quick our starters if you want to. Um, you know, it should be the same. We're going to be the same. I'll give a central. Same starters. Going to be Bailey O'Brien, Baron Brooks, Ashton Feldhouse, Heather Hinkle, and Shade Bosley. Southern, let's see. They're going to go with. Uh, Massa Southern has Samantha Parms, Kelly Freeman, Hayden Westfall, Sarah Smith, and Brianna Lanham. Brianna Lanham had come off a huge game last she had night. 29, 29 last night. She, she played well. And she things she did she controlled the boards she did she, she did active. a really nice she job did shooting crazy shots she did she did a good job for him so Lanham's gonna have her hands full tonight with Bosley and Feldhouse down low you very much that is exactly right and of course Southern still without two of their better players yes Rachel Ramey and Marley Lawson are out but uh, Miss Parms did a good job filling in at the point last she night. has she did a good job played really hard playing well so we'll we're going to take a quick break. We've got, uh, they're getting ready to do the announcement of the, of the starting lineup. So we're going to take a break and we'll be back. Madison County School Sports Television. Thanks to our great sponsors, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Gobo in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Renfro's Paint and Collision in Richmond and Berea, Eastside Community Church, Richmond. Premier Home Care and Premier Rehab, Guardian Bank, Hopper's Jewelry, Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, Richmond, WKYT.com, Berea Online, Richmond Tourism, and the Richmond Chamber of Commerce. Hey everybody, I'm Jerry Goble, local State Farm Insurance agent in Richmond, Kentucky, and a proud supporter of Madison County High School Sports. Stop in and see us and get your discount double check. tip off here in a minute we kind of about went over it is what it is I mean both teams are going to be a little more relaxed like I said they both are going on the 11th region but you still want to come out a winner yeah um, Summer Simmons had to be uh, happy with the win but she had some frustration last night a lot of turnovers uh, turnovers poor shooting way too many three-point attempts exactly. in my opinion and it'll be a long long night if they get into that That's this evening against the Indians um, Madison Central is going to be a heavy favorite in this game. That's no shock to anyone. They come in 25 and four, ranked top five in the state. So, and I, you know, I think that uh, Coach Cooksey was he was a little disappointed in some of their play the other night. But at this time of year, he's got to kind of do everything he can to keep them focused and going forward because yeah. they are the favorite in the region. But that region is stacked, and they're going to have a tough time getting through. So he wants to get through what he can. You know, work on some things and have them ready for next week. I, I think that they can, uh, you know, just kind of shear their game up is what they need to do a little bit. Yeah. Looks like our man, uh, assistant coach Lakes, is not on the bench tonight. I found out he's his son and daughter in the state tur swimming state tournament yeah. or something. I think they're big swimmers. So now Shane, he swam. He was a good swimmer. He swam like a rock. Did he? So yeah, he he, he, we had to pass that swim test over. College, and I think he had to take it three or four times. Yeah. I don't know. We may have to. <laughs> I hope he hears that. I get on it. But, well, we're going to get ready for tip off. We're going to take a, take a quick break. We'll be right back. Let's take a short one and get ready for tip off. Hey, everybody. I'm Jerry Goble, local State Farm Insurance agent in Richmond, Kentucky, and a proud supporter of Madison County High School Sports. Stop in and see us and get your discount double check.
Steakhouse, Shade Bosley, and Miss Hayden Westfall. Miss Westfall to tip it off. Here we go. Shade got the tip, but went out of bounds. I believe it's going to go to Madison Southern. Southern ball, begin the game. As anticipated, Central's going to come out in the man to man. It's very important, Mass Southern, to get off to a quick start tonight. Or at least stay close. That's that's the key that's of the, the game right there. Anything. If they fall behind early, it could be a Bailey, long night. Yep. Bailey going to guard Parms, the point guard. Laren's on Freeman. Lanham working against. Nothing there. Oh, should they did get a foul? I thought she traveled, but they whistled yeah. a foul on Bosley. Well, that was one of our keys we talked about last Actually, week. Actually, it's on Heather Hinkle. It's should they not be on Heather. Up early fouls. And that wasn't really a cheap one. I thought, oh, good play. Good steal. She was open. I say it every night. Laren Brooks is amazing on defense. She's very quick. Hinkle over to Feldhouse. High post to Bosley. Good ball movement. Corner by Brooks. No good. Lanham with the rebound. Gets it up to number 32, Freeman. 4-3. Oh, Southern takes the three. She wasn't, she wasn't hitting much last night, but she, she busted it there. Southern's going to play the 2-3. A little 2-3 zone. I think that's their best hope. Good rebound. Got a box out inside against wow. Feldhouse and Bosley. Very good rebound. Ashton found the open spot and went back up. Yeah, Freeman struggled last night, but she buried that first one. Let's just hope if you're a Southern fan, they don't start jacking them uh, up uh, again. Yeah. O'Brien's got to get that pass. She needs to read that. Be a little more aggressive. Nice like quick Brooke. hands from Laren to yep, force turnover. I think O'Brien is quick enough to put in a little more pressure on the ball. You know, she can contain, but she needs to, you know, you got those big girls down low to help yeah. you defensively take a shot or you two. You can gamble and be okay. They're going to, you know, you have the help. A little backdoor pass. It's the reverse. Rebounded by Smith. Ashton got her goggles knocked off. Three to two early on, six minutes left. Southern on top. Madison Lanham for a three. Lanham for a long three. That's not her game. Good nice follow, offense. though. That nice is. follow. Good block. Very nice block from Bosley. And she's got to be careful. She's playing with one, but. Well, actually, the foul went against Heather Hinkle. The previous foul. Lanham is handing the ball tonight more than she did last she night. She is. Most of her damage came off the, uh, the rebound. Barnes with a long three. Wow. That's her did, first. Did that bank in? I don't know. <laughs> it, it, counts. it counts. It counts tonight. That's right. That's right. Hinkle Not. looking for that back door. A little more pressure out of the 2 3 for Southern. Trying to. Hinkle had a look, but inside the Feld house. No good. Can't get it to drop. Hinkle's one that we, she, she needs to get some shots. She struggled the last couple games. You know, when she struggles. She struggles, it seems like, here lately. She really opens it up and she can hit good defense. Baby. Turnover. Here comes Brooks. Got to stop Brooks. Two and one, good pass. Rolled it in. Basket from Bailey O'Brien. Excellent. I tell you, Bailey runs the floor really well for a two guard. Good fast break. 4.38 to go, six to four, Southern on top. All Westfall posted up down Westfall. low. Belthouse going to be content playing behind. Huh? Yeah. That's a tough matchup for today. No she, foul. She, she, oh, wow. No foul again. Wow, yeah. Again, no foul. Wow, she pulled the shorts off. And she traveled. <laughs> she traveled? Today oh, traveled down low. It looked like today got, uh, <laughs> got mauled a little bit. But early into the game. Ruster letting them play. Yep. Letting them play early. Early into the game for the Eagles. Uh, Adriana Willis comes in for Smith. She had a, Adriana played a lot last night. Hit a couple shots. Uh, no way. That was good Poor pass. Poor inbound pass. Pretty physical inside. The refs are letting them go. And I think it's going to benefit Southern more than it will Central. Bosley is wide open. They missed her on that. 
And we get a hold. Now they got a reach. I believe Farms got her. Uh, you know, and looking at this, the way, you know, Southern's going to have to play physical. They have to. That's the only. That, long as it's yes. Clean, good and you can't allow that. that to happen right there. Right there is what I like. Get some buckets on the out of bounds. But that's going to be good for Central. They need to learn to play that way. Yes. They, but they got to be smart, you know, keep their head, don't get frustrated. This 11th region is going to be a physical regional tournament this year. Willis comes out firing. Short on the three. Adriana, she, she's just, that's what her job is. She's going to put it up. Good move. Nice take. I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that unless it's a very flat zone, Brooks can get to the, line, the, the, the bucket anytime she wants to. Coach oh, Simmons didn't like that call. She's working that rough pretty good over there. <laughs> I, I, if I was against her defensively as a team, I believe I would back up. I'd make her beat him with a jump shot rather than the drive. I would too, because she can drive right past she anyone. Hits them both. That's the central on top. Eight to six, 3.30 left in the first quarter. Here comes, Here that comes that their 2-2-1. Court trout. And a, immediately a steal. And going to be an easy layup. Right, that's where they put the hurt on. Southern's got to handle that trout. That press. Someone's got a flash middle. Now I'll tell you, another advantage out of this, Donald, is that you know, the region is here. Yes. They'll get a chance to practice. That's right. Bigger floor, so they're going to have to spread that defense out, but that's good hands. They'll stay with Southern. Just like tonight, the 43rd final, Dunbar Lafayette played at Lexington Christian. High school gym, like you said. Smaller. We play two games now on this floor, so little use to the floor. Southern out of bounds under the goal. Another long one almost intercepted. Good drive by Palm. Off the board. 10 to 8 now. Central on top. Okay, now Southern's going to that 3-2. little 3-2 match. Going to match up on the high. And they're going to go straight inside. Good decision. She brought the hand down. Late whistle, but I thought she got fouled early. She got hit hard. Today, get hot here and hit the free throws. Foul on Brianna. That's her first. Team first, or team third. All right, Had a good looking stroke on the free throw. That's good. Since we're going to get ready to set up in the press. Several young players for Southern, and that pressure yes. really caused them trouble. They're going to have to. They're going to have to handle oh, the ball. Bring it full court here. Um, Lanham triggered it in. Got to get back. Good pass. Good recovery by Hinkle. Nice speed. Donald, if, if we've said it once, we've said it 25 times. That pass over the head, yeah. that's, that's where the defender's hands go. That's what I was going to say. Fake that. They, that that's so that straight pass isn't always the best pass. Never hardly the best pass. Southern long to the corner to Hinkle. She needs to get hot. Ooh, in and out. Good hustle. Nice Bosley. three bam at Boss Lee, but she stepped that's on the out of bound line. That's all right. You'll take that. That's good hustle. Nice hustle from Bosley. Poor blocking out from yep. Massa Southern. Today, is, 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 as tall as she is and big, she's extremely athletic, so she you got to get more a body on her and stay. Pressure. Looking across. See what are they dropping back in. Gotta she don't see the there. open girl. Five seconds. Oh, got the timeout. Good Should, recognition by Coach. Yeah. Simmons. Nice job. Should be a All 30. Right, we're going to take one. They're going to take a full one. So I think we'll go ahead and take our first break, and we'll be back. Madison County School Sports Television. Thanks to our great sponsors, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Gobo in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Renfro's Paint and Collision in Richmond and Berea, Eastside Community Church, Richmond, Premier Home Care and Premier Rehab, Guardian Bank, Hopper's Jewelry, Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, Richmond, WKYT.com, Berea Online, Richmond Tourism, and the Richmond Chamber of Commerce.
Jazzercise Richmond Fitness Center is a proud sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television. you to watch Madison County School Sports Television. Back after the timeout, Southern triggers it in. Central going to stay in there man to man. Less than two to go now, just tick on her two minutes. Willis, she drives, looks for the shot, kicks out the ball, good ball fake. O'Brien's got to stay down on that. Farms is, has a good shot fake, and O'Brien's well, got to stay down and not let that happen. Samantha with a quick seven. Yep. 12 to 10, Central on top. Minute 30 left. They can't stop her down there. It's hard to, yeah, when it's hard to handle that down low. They're going to have to try and either deny the pass, front her, maybe with back help. Yeah. There's only way to do something with that. Because she has great touch and so much taller. Barnes trying to work on O'Brien. Good D that time. Hinkle's got the oh. youngster, Willis. Got They're going to try and get her over for a shot. If she's going to go up with it if she gets it. Way off oh, the mark. Off. Rush that one. On the break. Good Southern break. on the run. You got to step up on the ball. Oh, good move. Bosley with the rebound again. And no, oh, almost a three point. Good move. That's, you know, that I've always said, Donald, there's no way you could give an assist to Brooks on that. Yeah. But, you know, almost if she's getting off the board, yeah. that's fine. Good, good. You know, Bosley follows and knows to read the shot. Let's see if she can cash in at the line. That one's off. Southern with four fouls in the first quarter. Fourteen to ten. Central on top. Oh, Ooh. missed them both. Unusual. Southern looking for something. No luck. They threw it off the central player. So it'll stay stay with Madison uh, Southern. Madison Southern. 48 seconds left. Opening quarter of play. If you're Coach Summer, or Summers, you're, you're pretty happy. Oh, I'm, you're ecstatic if you're Madison Southern right now. I said it again. I get confused on the X's. Coach Summer Simmons. So I did the same thing. <laughs> get it a year. She won't hold it against us. I call her everything but her right name. Kicked out to Willis again. She got that one. 14 to 13. Willis has got free range. She's going to fire it up. 27 seconds. seconds. Little 3 2 zone look. Hinkle from the wing looks good. Just long. Hinkle's got to get hot from that central. She's, she really does. She's had a bad tournament so yeah. far. I mean, shooting the ball. She didn't, uh, didn't shoot well last couple. Seven times. seconds left. Samantha drives. Over to Smith. Back over to Samantha. Better fire it. Just off the uh, mark. Almost. As we're saying, if you're Coach Simmons. 14 to 13. You, you're ecstatic. You're, you're tickled pink right now. Yeah. And don't only be down one point to the smooth. number five team in the state after one quarter of play. They've done a good job. I think so. we got these Southern cheerleaders back out. They were double duty last night, double duty tonight. Double duty tonight. Out. So only thing gonna... from S Southern, six turnovers in the opening quarter. Right. They have to limit that. We're going to take a quick break. We'll get back to the second quarter. Madison County School Sports Television. Premier Rehab specializes in orthopedic physical therapy for pain and injuries from sports, work, and automobile accidents. And they specialize in rehabilitation following orthopedic surgery, including the shoulder, knee, ankle, and spine. And they provide expert personalized care that produces outstanding results. All therapists have a minimum of 10 years experience. 
Premier Rehab is the only locally owned rehabilitation agency in Richmond. And in 2012, the people of Madison County voted Premier Rehab as the best outpatient physical therapy clinic in Madison County. So when you need physical therapy, it's always your choice where you go for therapy. Choose a local company staffed with hometown professionals. Choose Premier Rehab, located at 370 Highland Park Drive, Suite 1. Premier Rehab Services. Renfro's Collision, the only body shop with two Madison County locations, is here to serve you. At Renfro's Collision, you can look forward to the best possible repair experience. We have the latest tools, training, equipment, and technology. We have what others don't have. Why take the risk with someone else? Contact us at 369-4111 for a completely free estimate. It's your car, it's your choice. Don't let an insurance company tell you otherwise. Renfro's Paint and Collision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ready for our second quarter. Madison Central on top by one, 14 to 13. We got some stats. I tell you, well, the biggest one jumps out to me. Central's 0 for 4 from the three-point range. Southern's 3 for 7. That's Opposite of last night from Madison Southern when they start off slow on the, yep. from behind the arc. Central picking up the pressure a little I bit. I was about to say, Central has picked up yeah. that defensive pressure now. Feldhouse is guarding Willis, and she, she won't get those open That's got to be a five-second call. Wow, finally. There you go, Don. I mean... Uh, a clear, obvious pickup and in intensity on the defensive yes. end. Oh, you know Coach Cooks is not very it. happy over it. there in the sideline. Good defensive stand for the – Not that Madison Southern can't play with you, but, you know, when you beat this team just the other night by 30, the yeah. longer you let a team play with you, the more confidence they gain. And we talk about it all the time. Defensively, you can do – you can always put the tough pressure okay. on. You know, offensively, you may be off. Nice move, Feldhouse. Nice move by Ashton. Very good. Got to give her that. But always defensively, you can get out there and make Defensive, there's no reason not to play good, solid defense. It's all about effort and heart on the defensive end. Yeah, they've switched up a couple of assignments. Feldhouse is guarding Willis. She's going to try and drive. And she goes, oh, almost thrown away. Almost turnover. Brooks, wow, she's all over Freeman. Another five-second call coming up if you're not careful. Good double team. Another five. Wow. Coach Simmons, she's mad. She was trying to call a timeout. She's going to have to come out to half court. Well, Good. if this game stays close, it might be better to have that timeout later than the possession. Yep. Long three out front. In for a hook. They finally got First one three to point. stay in. Yep. They finally got one to stay in. That'll really open that inside if she can Both teams shooting the ball pretty well. Central at 50%. Matt Southern, 5 of 11. And we have a double dribble call. Wow. What's that, three possessions, three turnovers? Yep. Or four, three of four, I think. Three, four yeah, I think they got one shot up maybe. Yep. But if you're Matt Southern, you may think about a timeout to calm your kids down yeah. right now. Especially if Central scores down there on this end. He's going off right again. I just hope she doesn't let it really get her down. I hope Coach Cookie stays in her ear. Hey, we need you shooting. She needs to continue to shoot the yeah. ball. I mean, that's, that's the worst thing. It's always my philosophy. Keep shooting till it goes, buddy. That's it. And I do, shooters. Mark, I do owe Mark Smith for that a couple weeks ago. He got me at the boys game, so. Keep on the break. Nice pull up. And she still can't get it. Good follow. Follow again, Feldhouse up. And it's hard to match up with that size inside. I'm glad, I'm glad to see he can take that shot. That was good. She needs to get, again, get the shots up. You know, she might could have made a pass, but. Ashton off to a fast start, five of seven. <laughs> Quick 10 points. 21 to 13. Southern is really struggling now in the in defensive, offensive end. And another walk. Couple substitutions for. Lead is now eight. Carter comes in, she replaces Willis. Westfall in for Smith. Carter, young player, did a good job last night. She's, I think she's the seventh grader. Clark, I'm sorry. Clark, did yeah. did a great job last night. He gets after it. Five turnovers already. They had six in the opening quarter and have five now. 
Five in this quarter already. Wide open out top, way off. Looks like she lost the ball on that one. Yeah. It slipped out of her hand. Yeah, Southern needs to get something. This will get out of hand quick. First uh, quarter, they played really well. Second quarter, they've come out. But you got to give credit to Mass Central on that. They have really picked up the defensive effort on this half. They did. In this quarter. They got very out on the ball. Wow, Clark's different. Clark's a little eighth grade guard. Feldhouse She's working against Feldhouse, and she is freaking out out there. O'Brien got lost there, but she got helped by Sade. Now O'Brien on the break. Ah, oh, she loses it. She's out of bounds. Tried to go across the left hand, couldn't hold it. Yeah, she got lost that time. Freeman got away, or excuse me, Parms got away from yes. O'Brien, but she, Sade got the hand up. Maybe run a little one far low here and see if Samantha can do anything against Bailey. Surprised they haven't tried to attack today more. She got the one foul. Don't put your hands on them defensively. She's got to quit that. You've got She'll Clark, the, drive. the littlest one on the floor. Nothing there. Battle inside. Nice Lanham. rebound from Lanham. Try to put it up. I thought she walked. Westfall comes she may have walked. Away. Still from Good Bailey. Team. Now, Bailey read the passing lane that time. They got numbers. He's going to hold him. What's he got? Oh, charge. He got a job. Well, I thought she turned her ankle. Now, Bailey was a little out of control on that run. That would have been a nice pull up. Pull up, little bank off the board. Yeah, she took that in a little too far. Wasn't aware to pass. Once you get past that foul line, you need yeah, to you're in no man's up. land then. It's either. Not much passing. Central standing the man to man. Over to Freeman, she's looking in. Trying to drive, nothing on Brooke. Double team. Bailey gets back on. Try Central is not running more double team up and attacking the guards. I think they could do that. I they really haven't do. handled the pressure well at all, so. Shot is oh, up, three. No and it's way off. Because Brooke. It's gonna be a layup. Hopefully Brianna does not foul. Yeah, Freeman, Freeman did the right decision. All right, Freeman. First double digit lead, one up to 10. To Three minutes left in the first half. Southern has not scored in this quarter. It was 14-13 yeah, after it was. first. Got a foul now on the knee. It's going to be on the floor. But. Looking into Westfall, see if they can get something going. Southern's only had three shots in this quarter. Over three from the floor. As I said, they've had six turnovers and three shots. Substitute in for Central, Emily Fultz comes in for Hinkle. I really like Emily's game. She's guarding Clark, the eighth grader. That should be a pretty good matchup right there. That's a matchup we'll see for a few years now. Into Westfall with a hook, nothing there, good defense. Ah. Guards left, no guard rebound in that time. Land him in the corner, looking to do something on Bosley, nothing nope. there. Do it away. away. Pick it up. Being over and back. Yep. Another turnover for the Lady Eagles. It's going to be 13th turnover on the game. Two and a half left. Central on top by 10. Which Southern has not scored, but Central is not exactly burning nets up either. So that's over the back on today. Right. That's our second. I, I couldn't tell. I know when I looked up. Today's first. <laughs> That first foul went against the, Heather. Okay, okay. That first foul was against Heather Hinkle. All right, good, good. So the big is still okay on foul. I Hinkle has two up. fouls. All right. When I looked up, Lanham had a hold, yeah. Lanham had to hold her arm, but I guess she, did. she got Bosley first. Okay, thanks for correcting me. I thought that was her second. Good D. Miss Hinkle has two for the Lady Indians. Arms being guarded by Fultz. Got a switch there. Out deep. That's that's not her her game. Good Go strong. Down. Good block. Oh no foul! I thought that was going to be a jump ball call. Oh, and he just te she just teed Feldhouse up. She just teed her up. Wow. I did not. I, oh man. Ashton thought she had the jump ball, and I think I believe she did as well. Wow. Robbie thinks she did as well. You're talking about but, the, but you thought the official did that? The referee that, that under, though. Was saying yes. That. And, well, the I, referee I, under had the foul call, right or wrong. 
And the one thing you can't really do is talk back to an official anymore. Well, what, it didn't look real demonstrative, but maybe she said something or thought she said something. Today's referees don't like to be talked oh, to at all yeah. anymore. They got to tuck their ears in, rabbits. They do. Rabbits need to keep them tucked. I That's going to that. be two now on Miss Feldhouse. Okay. Yeah. The technical counts as a personal. personal. Does it? Okay. She picked up the personal and the technical, so. Yeah. Well, that's. She will come out of the game for Arian Singer. Okay, that's. Southern's got to knock down their free throws. Westfall, I mean. Westfall shot the two technicals. They shot them first. I need Landon to change that free throw routine. You gotta, <laughs> too much movement. <laughs> Brianna shot the tech. So, well, that, that'll do it for Feldhouse for the half. Yeah. And, I, you know, um, she's got, I mean, I didn't, I don't know. I hate that. Unless the kid has cussed or gets it. Unless you say one of the magic go. words. There's you like know. three or four magic yeah. words. But you're right. I think Feldhouse said I, I, it was a joke. I believe she oh, just did that. I and by know. making the motion on the floor, I think the referee uh, thought, you're showing me up on the floor. Yeah. Refs don't like to be showed up. Yeah. They need to loosen up. We're not out here to watch the referees. That's it. But Central has oh, two starters now with two fouls. This some the singer, Angry Singer, came in. She was coming in for Bosley, but then with that deal, she came in for Feldhouse. Yes. So we got to make sure and not pick up any cheap fouls. That's here. right. 120 left. Um, Central still on top by eight. Good D. And got to be a travel. Clark. Nice job. I like that defensive stance right there. Even though Southern has just scored one point, it's only an eight-point game with a minute 19 to go. Yeah. Again, if you're Summer Simmons and Mass Southern coaching staff, you have to be pleased. Right. Only been down eight points. Willis back in the game for Southern. Southern staying a little 3-2 zone. Good little move. Looks out top. Looks for the wing. Skip it over to Bailey for a three. That's her first attempt. Short. Good rebound. Today with a nice rebound out. Back out top. Long three. Brooks. Good. It's good. She does not shoot a lot of those. I, no, she doesn't. It's, you know, she's not selfish, but I mean, I wouldn't be bad to see her fire a few more of those. Laren is two or three from behind the arc tonight. Shooting 50% overall. Arms driving, good drive. That's what Southern's going to have to do. Block. Take it in, try to draw the foul. O'Brien's got to work. She can't, she can't follow that through that screen. She's got to go to the side of it. If she had a full pass, Arms just couldn't get a good look off. Up top to Fulk, across to Brooks. No three up by Brooks. Good. good. I believe, uh, I believe 16 she, she, seconds she, remain. She sees two starters on the bench and says, I'm taking over, she, baby. She knows she has to step Absolutely. up. We're down to nine seconds in the half. Down low to Lanham at the high post. Good D. Not Three seconds. Got to get the shot, shot up. I don't think it would have counted. No. Pretty good end of the quarter for Madison Central. Quick, quick six points by Brooks. She just took over. So they went from down, went down by eight to now this. So a good. We've got an interview coming up. Samantha Burford's going to talk to Coach Coach Simmons. All right, Coach Simmons, your girls came out really fired up in the first quarter. They really looked defeated more or less in the second quarter. What are your concerns? Um, we just haven't moved very well on offense. Uh, in the first in the first quarter, we were shooting the ball. But we weren't scared, and, and you know, if they get up a few points on us, it seems like we're getting into that mode where we're a little a little afraid to take shots when we should be taking them. So, yeah. so what well, we got to get them fired up in the uh, locker room? Well, I, we just need to get back at it. I mean, when we're sharing the ball and we're looking inside and out and we're moving without the basketball we look better so we've got to get we've got to uh, work on our plays and do some adjustments on those and see what we can get all right good luck coach thank you Renfro's Collision the only body shop with two Madison County locations is here to serve you at Renfro's Collision you can look forward to the best possible repair experience we have the latest tools training equipment and technology we have what others don't have why take the risk with someone else Contact us at 369-4111 for a completely free estimate. It's your car, it's your choice. Don't let an insurance company tell you otherwise. Renfro's Paint and Collision. Hey, Coach Cooksey, your girls came out ready to play today. They really stepped up their defense in the uh, second quarter. What are your thoughts? 
uh, a lot better second quarter than the first. Um, gave them too many easy shots in the first quarter. They, you know, hit a couple threes, and um, you know, in the second second quarter, you know, we changed a little bit of that. I think they only scored two, which is, uh, you know, that's what we've got to do the next two quarters. All right. Tell us what you say to the ladies at halftime. <laughs> we just talked. We talk about defense. We talk. We we. We, we talk about increasing our intensity on defense in the floor. That's what we talk about typically. Right. So. Good. Well, good luck, Coach. Thank you. I want you to watch Madison County School Sports Television. Thanks to our great sponsors. First Gear in downtown Richmond. Pro Signs in Southern Hills Plaza. L81. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. Thanks to our great sponsors, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Gobo in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Renfro's Paint and Collision in Richmond and Berea, Eastside Community Church, Richmond, Premier Home Care and Premier Rehab, Guardian Bank, Hopper's Jewelry, Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, Richmond, WKYT.com, Berea Online, Richmond Tourism, and the Richmond Chamber of Commerce. You can now watch Madison County School Sports on WKYT.com. Just go to WKYT.com forward slash your town and click Richmond. WKYT TV, an official sponsor of Madison County School Sports. Time Warner Business Class. Call Time Warner Cable today. Watch Madison County School Sports programming on Madison County Schools Cable Channel 9, Time Warner Cable Channel 5, on YouTube, and now on WKYT.com. Forward slash your town and click Richmond. Premier Rehab specializes in orthopedic physical therapy for pain and injuries from sports, work, and automobile accidents. And they specialize in rehabilitation following orthopedic surgery, including the shoulder, knee, ankle, and spine. And they provide expert, personalized care that produces outstanding results. All therapists have a minimum of 10 years' experience. Premier Rehab is the only locally owned rehabilitation agency in Richmond. And in 2012, the people of Madison County voted Premier Rehab as the best outpatient physical therapy clinic in Madison County. So when you need physical therapy, it's always your choice where you go for therapy. Choose a local company staffed with hometown professionals. Choose Premier Rehab, located at 370 Highland Park Drive, Suite 1. Premier Rehab Services.
24 hours, seven days a week, 24-7, Madison County School Sports.com. Davenport Custom Guitars, right here in Richmond, has pedals, strings, picks, and guitar parts. They also do custom refins and setups. Davenport Custom Guitars, 807 East Main Street, right here in Richmond. Go where the professionals go. You know, fans, when we were uh, actually doing a ball game, Randy and I, talk a lot of times about how important rebounding, turnovers, and free throw shooting, how important those three things are. And uh, what we thought we'd do today is show you the free throw shooting part is really important. We always say on the, on the air, free throws, you gotta make them, why? Because they're free. They're free. So they named them that for a reason. So we're gonna do a little uh, free throw shooting competition, best out of five between Randy and I, and we'll just show you how easy free throws are to make. So as you can see, Randy, they are free. What's so hard about free throws? Come on, boys and girls, hit your free throws. You'll win the game. Make the most of your trip to the Red River Gorge in Kentucky with scenic cabin rentals or delight in the mountainside beauty of the Daniel Boone National Forest. Whether you are planning a long vacation or just looking for a few days away from it all, check out sceniccabin.com. Our rental cabins and lodge are located close to the Red River Gorge and Natural Bridge Resort State Park. Family reunions, corporate retreats, weddings, and other large groups are very welcome. Cabins are available for small groups of two to six or large groups up to 15. All of our Cabins are modern with city water, satellite TV, paved roads, full service kitchens, modern bathrooms and showers, decks, grills, and outdoor fire pits. Many have hot tubs and game rooms or gaming tables like pool or ping pong, foosball, and air hockey. A few have internet. Visit sceniccabin.com online or check us out on our Facebook page. Sceniccabin.com. Shouldn't you start planning that relaxing mountain getaway now? Thanks to our great sponsors. First Gear in downtown Richmond. Pro Signs in Southern Hills Plaza. L81. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back, getting ready for second half action. Madison Southern Lady Eagles and Madison Central Lady Indians. Lady Indians on top with a big flurry at the end of the half. Uh, Don, that second quarter was not kind to the Lady Eagles. It was not. They were outscored 15 to 2. Only had five shots from the field, went 0 for 5, and 1 of 3 from line for their only point. And you know what? They were still not doing too bad there at the end. And then Brooks took over, what, she had two threes in a row? She had the last six and points of the uh, quarter, I believe. And man, I like seeing that. I mean, Brooks could score probably every time, at least get to the hole. But she's a, a tremendous team player. But she, knew, she sensed that she knew, hey, I need to get going here. And she did, did a great job. Brooks, three or four from behind the arc. And I, also, one of the key stats I saw, nothing else, Southern got off 17 shots in that first half. Yes. Central had 25. So That's right. At least getting the shots up. You can't score if you don't get them up. Complete so. offset from the first quarter of play. 
Well, let's see what happens. Southern's going to have to try and put a little pressure. It can't get much farther out if, uh, you know, on this, they can't get too much farther behind. And Central, again, needs to just uh, stay intense, get something done, and uh, get out of here healthy. That's it. Um. And I, I, I've been impressed with Coach Simmons. She's going to have something, you know, she's going to put some things in place to help them. It doesn't matter if they can execute them or not. As we heard Coach Cooksey say, he wants to pick up the defensive pressure on the defensive end. And I think that's, they need that all the way around. Overall intensity, Absolutely. yeah. Just get it overall intensity. Very important start of the third quarter for Madison Southern. They cannot allow to allow the lead to get any farther out. And it would be central ball to start the quarter. We'll start they got a chance to push the lead out even further. Here we go. Southern's going to, well, they're going to stay in there 3-2. I don't know how long they'll be able to stay. Oh, good. There's that back door play, that back pick up. No good. Out of bounds off today. No. No, stay in here. I think Lanham pushed it out. Should they did a good job avoiding their, their foul. Out of bounds for Central. Kinkle take it out. Good. She took her time. Gave it, gave it a chance to work. Cross court. Ooh. Almost a steal. Kinkle. Ah, that's now a Heather Hinkle on the board. Ah, Lady Indians glad to see that. They need to get her. She needs to just knock down a few shots, get her confidence back. Because I tell you what, with the, with you know Brooks and all of them, she's gonna she's gonna really get some good looks because they're gonna key on her. So she's gonna get some wide open shots. Oh, three by Freeman, no good. Way off the mark. She hit her first one and then hadn't hit another. One. All right, good fast break. Southern now three of ten from behind the arc. Not Wave it bad. off on the floor. Wow. I tell you what was impressive right there. Bosley run. She got that mid stride and went on in with it. She's so athletic. And again, she's still new, new to the game. She's still learning. Only played about a year. Long jumper. Donald, Miss Brooks has got hot. She has gotten hot. Know what Massa Southern wanted to see. That's at least three or four in a row for her. It she, is. Two threes. I think she had a two prior to that and then that. Six of ten from the field. Here comes a little double little, team up top. Twist. I like that. I like there with the trap. Good D. Way to step through it. Got a foul. It's open, but if you've got you've got the help, I think Central can play that. With Feldhouse mm -hmm. smart enough back, they get that. People stir. It's going to be Heather's third, like you say. Coach Cooks is going to let her stay. Stay in a man-to-man out of bounds. Oh, that's intercepted. That's a bad pass. It's two of those so, she's thrown oh, up. Feldhouse run the floor. Nice. 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 She better get her one quick. Let's get out of hand. 36 to 36. This game to 15, is 530 if left. If you're not careful, it could get knocked out. Boy, Feldhouse took off down the floor for that break. That's nice. Lanham for three. Nice jumper from Branham right there. She, Lanham, excuse me. She's not going to quit. Southern does a good job. They're not going to. They're not going to give up. She last night she didn't use that part of her game, but she really, she's extending. She's having to. Fold out with a three, wide open. They can't let her have that wide open. Her first of the night. She now is 15 in the ball game. Freeman, pull up, good pull. The short, good rebound. Bosley, back to Hinkle, looking for Brooks. Somebody has to pick Brooks up. Can't allow her to go all the way down. Bailey, good follow. Again, follow. no one tries to rebound in that play. Follow the shot, not many of them do that. Bailey hadn't shot real well either. You know, we talked about Hinkle. Seems like Bailey picks up some defensive stuff. That, yeah, uh, but Bailey's had struggles tonight from the offensive end. Southern hanging right in there, running their man-to-man -man offense. Freeman looking to drive. Good drive. Nice move. Nice I move think. there. That's really nice. Kelly Freeman with a good drive to the bucket on Miss Brooks. Southern cuts it to 19. Southern's going to stay in that 3-2 because they, they just can't match up man-to-man. -man. So they're going to If stay they go man-to-man, -man, I think I Coach Simmons is afraid that. One corner and then the other corner, and Summer's going to have to take a timeout. 
stretch it out to 22 now. Right. So that's a good start for Central for the third quarter. We always talk about the third quarter being the first part of it being so so significant, and uh, that's a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. But Don, uh, I mean, Southern's hanging in there, but the Central's hitting their shots. Central's hitting shots that's, now. That's the key, you know. And, and Laren has decided she's going to do a little scoring, and she's done it. But. Uh, 15 turnovers for the Lady Eagles to only five from Lady Indians. Yeah, that's, that'll do you in, I don't care who you are, what team you're playing. That's right. will get you. You know, Lanham, Miss Lanham, she's showing that outside game as well because she just can't maneuver probably with the taller girls for Central. But I tell you what, you're not going to see any quit. That's for sure. As we said earlier, Central is 16 of 33 from the floor. Southern, 7 of 21. Yeah, Only 21 shots attempted. Getting up more shots. Coach Simmons bringing in some height. She's bringing in Elizabeth Carroll to kind of compete in there yes. and rebound. But here comes a little 2-2-1, two, two, half court. Half court. Two, two, one. Freeman, look, almost had Westfall. Good hand. Hinkle standing there battling with three fouls. She come up with a turnover. Looks like Southern's going to go man. Heather's going to go all the way. Nice move. Heather <laughs> Hinkle with a good move. She is 2-2 in this quarter now. Getting hot for yeah. Heather. We haven't seen that much out of her. Nice job. Again, Central. another little trap Central set up by Central. And we get a hold called. I believe it's going to be on Shaday. Wow. Actually, it's on Bailey O'Brien. I thought, I thought it's mere second. A trap. I thought that was a pretty good trap. It's going to be Mass Central second of the half. Oh, had to call the trill. And if he does, that's going to be four on Heather, on I believe. Or today? I didn't. I didn't see who he got it on. It's going to be on today. Southern inbounds, gets it over to Clark. Clark getting pressure way up top. Yep. And a five-second five call. Good defense, Heather Hinkle. Which Clark. is hard for Clark to have that little timer in her head, whereas Clark a veteran is. does. She's got to just learn to uh, know, get that separation, be able to yeah. create that. She couldn't do it. She's more worried about turning it over then. Good defense. A lot of contact down there against Feldhouse. No call. That's good pass. Nice pass over to. Oh, good block. Carroll. Carroll's got the side. Carol. She hadn't played a lot, and that good block. And that showed right take. there. Good take. It's going to be a block. Should be a block. Good take. Ashton has really improved her taking it to the hole. She has. She does a good job with that. That's uh, and that's something comes with experience and getting stronger. That's that's the biggest key there. So she'll go to the line for two. Lead keeps stretching, 45 to 20. Misses the bucket, misses the free throw. Central bringing out the 2-2-1. Two, two, nice little yep. split. Good D. And two we ball. have a travel. Good idea by Clark. She saw, saw the trees coming and moved her feet. 17th turnover on the game. Let Hinkle run the point a little bit. Something different. Maybe he can get her going. All right, nice call, Coach Cooksey. He read that. They were putting the pressure out of the wing. If they're over back playing, door. you back door. Nice job. That was a call play. That was good. Central working on that 2-2-1 two, two, half court. Ah, good idea with that. Back over to Asher for a three. Stepping in for the three. A little long. A little long. Her range is Clark high. on the floor. Bodies everywhere. Harms looking to create. Inside to Carroll, she faces up. Nowhere to go. And she she, she walks again. 
Simmons didn't like that call. I don't know what Carol's trying to turn her. She did the right thing, but she just couldn't make the Yeah. I like seeing the fiery side come out of Coach Simmons. I've always thought she's been a little too passive on the sideline. She's got it, buddy. I used to see her playing college. She punched you in the mouth. <laughs> good play. Nice good give and go. go. Very much. Very good. 29 point lead now, less than two to go. It's 49 to 20. Lady Indians are not only hit, they're, they're playing, they're crisper. Their passes are crisper. They're putting a lot of pressure on this young Southern team. Clark handling Hang the ball right against the pressure. Oh, jumper by Freeman, short. Good rebound, Carroll. She's gonna get tied up. Got it took Take it away from, from her. People. Good steal, right back by the Lady Eagles. Minute 30 left. Two. Oh, almost missed. Had a back tap, she didn't see her coming. Gonna have a reach in there. Saw it Laren, it's gonna be her first. He blew that a little late. I thought he was gonna call on one of the girls inside. Central Looks like takes a timeout. Out. They're gonna take one, so that's a full one. We're gonna take it with them. Madison County School Sports Television will be back. Lady Indians on top, 49 to 20. Aw, oh, that is just the cutest thing. Whether you're going out of town on business, spring break, vacation, or just to get away, Luxury Pet Service is a phone call away. Luxury Pet Service is owned and operated by LaDonna Sizemore Whitecamp. You'll be secure in knowing your pet will be taken care of by highly trained and loving professionals. Luxury Pet Services also has grooming services and extraordinary daycare service too. Our mission at Luxury Pet Services is to care for your pet in a safe and friendly environment where dogs have fun. When you leave your dog with us, it's like leaving a member of your family, and that is a responsibility we take seriously. Luxury Pet Services is located about three minutes from Richmond Center. Visit our website or Facebook us. Luxury Pet Services, the home for happy dogs. back Madison County School Sports Television and strong third quarter so far for uh, Lady Indians made it tough but I think he's got scored them 20 to 5. Outscored 20 to 5 in this yeah. quarter. Harms with a long three good. 20 to 8. Harms the shooter man if she, if she can get open she's gonna bust it. Nice look right there nice out of bounds play that's where coach Sum yes. Simmons does a good job she ran and got, a, got the look she wanted. Got the three. Get him back in this thing. Downloaded today. Boston set it back up to Hinkle. One Ooh, minute. One minute left. Good post. Couldn't get her. Man to man. Southern doing a good job in the man to man. They hadn't played it until just a minute ago. Good rebound by Lana. Nice shot. Uh oh. Got a kid hurt. down. That's Sir Smith on the I floor. It's not her knee. She wears two knee braces. I hope it. Well, I hope it. Just hope, definitely not. I think she's hope, turned her ankle. Yeah, I hope, uh, you know, you pray it's not a knee. They're going to come out and check on her. We're going to go ahead and take another break while they check on her, and we'll be back in just a minute. Thanks to our great sponsors, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Gobel in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Renfro's Paint and Collision in Richmond and Berea, Eastside Community Church, Richmond. Premier Home Care and Premier Rehab, Guardian Bank, Hopper's Jewelry, Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, Richmond, WKYT.com, Berea Online, Richmond Tourism, and the Richmond Chamber of Commerce. Hey everybody, be a friend of Madison County School Sports Television on Facebook, MCS TV on Facebook. Log on and like us now. Renfro's Collision, the only body shop with two Madison County locations, is here to serve you. At Renfro's Collision, you can look forward to the best possible repair experience. We have the latest tools, training, equipment, and technology. We have what others don't have. 
Why take the risk with someone else? Contact us at 369-4111 for a completely free estimate. It's your car, it's your choice. Don't let an insurance company tell you otherwise. Renfro's Paint and Collision. Well, we're back. Um, I think it, they, she went off, had help, but hopefully Ms. Smith is okay. And uh, Sarah Smith, she's a senior, and hopefully it's not too bad of an injury. And it'll go, it'll be Southern's ball. Standing at low 2 2 1, half court's going to be Massa Central. They're up 26. West ball looking inside. Good hands by Feldhouse. Also here, gonna stay with Southern. Southern's put their shooter Willis back in the game. Gonna try and get something going from the outside. 32 seconds left. Central man to man from the out of bounds. West ball up, blocked by Feldhouse. Now for a game that started 14 to 13 in the opening quarter, Mass Central has outscored Mass Southern 35 to 7 in the last two quarters. Yes, they have. That's the defensive presence of the Lady Indians. And they started hitting shots. Hitting shots cures a lot of eels. It I? does. Down to nine seconds, eight seconds. I don't know if they see it. There they go inside. Lanham. Good move, good block. That'll do it for the third quarter. Our third quarter ends, 49 to 23. Bosley did a great job. She's getting better on that. She got her hands up, didn't try to didn't, do too didn't much. Didn't try to throw it in the first row. Exactly. Well, that's the end of the third quarter. We're back for our last quarter in a minute. We're going to take a break. Madison County School Sports Television. Okay, are you tired of stepping into that shower and risking serious injury? Well, no more. Check out Premier Home Care's walk-in shower systems. Come by Premier Home Care and let them show you how easy it is to install a brand new walk-in shower system. Don't risk injury anymore. Get a walk-in shower system from Premier Home Care. There's no place like home to heal. Premier Home Care. Premier Home Care. Premier Rehab specializes in orthopedic physical therapy for pain and injuries from sports, work, and automobile accidents. And they specialize in rehabilitation following orthopedic surgery including the shoulder, knee, ankle, and spine. And they provide expert personalized care that produces outstanding results. All therapists have a minimum of 10 years experience. Premier Rehab is the only locally owned rehabilitation agency in Richmond. And in 2012, the people of Madison County voted Premier Rehab as the best outpatient physical therapy clinic in Madison County. So when you need physical therapy, it's always your choice where you go for therapy. Choose a local company staffed with hometown professionals. Choose Premier Rehab, located at 370 Highland Park Drive, Suite 1. Premier Rehab Services. All right, we're back, folks. Ready for our fourth quarter. Madison Central up big, 49 to 23. Anything sticking out stat-wise, Don? Just again, Madison Southern got outscored 20 to 8 in the third quarter. Wow. That's just experience and shots falling. Again, Central put up 14 shots to nine for Madison Southern. I mean, that's their turnovers and arms with a long three, short. Good that was a pass. Adam. She missed that one. I don't think she, she couldn't believe she was that wide open. That's right. Over all night. Central running. Brooks gives it off. I believe Freeman got a hand on that. On the initial pass. Bosley with her first basket. She's played a good game, though. Right place, right time, right there. Lanham and Westfall still battling, but here comes Brooks. 
Good pass in stride to O'Brien. Nice job. That's big time right there. That's nice. That's it. That's Central's playing a little zone. They're playing their own little 3 2. I think that's a good move. Into the high post, knocked away. Land them on the wing, cross court to Willis. She's going to fire the three. Talk to Mark. No good. Rebound it, Lady Indians. Brooks looking. Oh, nice pass to Bosley. What's our lead right now? 55 to 23. That's uh, that's a, by far the biggest margin. It's now up to a 33 point advantage. If it hits 35, the clock starts to roll. Is it 35? I thought yes. it was 30. Okay. Lanham with a strong rebound and good move. And draws a foul. Draws a foul. Nice job. Well, you can't say it about everybody, but I can tell you what, the Lady Eagles won't quit. They won't quit and their coach won't let them. They're going to keep battling. If I was on today, that's her third. Got to, got to find Lanham. If you're, if you're guarding her, you got to find her. She's going to go to the board. She will. Out. She's got seven rebounds tonight, four of them on the offensive end. Second one up, it's off to man. Long baseball pass. Freeman got a handoff and a bounce right to Brooks anyway. Nice job. That's just bad luck right there. It was. Freeman made the play. Brooks with a steal down the other end. One on three, she's going to hold. Good move. Coach Cooks, he wanted to call timeout. I think he wanted some subs in. Now the clock is rolling. 59-23. Yeah, he wanted to get some subs in, get those starters out. Long three. Arms don't go out of bounds. It's going to go out of bounds to the Lady Indians. We've got three substitutes coming in for the Indians. Aaron Singer. We've got Miss Fultz. No. I'm sorry, Bailey coming back in. And Raven Kane checks in. Bailey Christian in there. So Feldhouse and Brooks, I'd say their night's done, Donald. I believe they are. And they've done a good job. Another unforced turnover. Also 41, Raven Kane is into the game. So then we've got Heather Hinkle, Bailey O'Brien, Bailey Christian. Aaron Singer and Raven Kane in there. The Eagles still got some starters. Westfall, Lanham, Freeman, Farms, and Willis. Working this side, Freeman, a long three. In, in, and, out. in and out. Nice rebound, rebound down low from Lanham. Lanham, I tell you, she's going to. There is no quit in her. Battler. And here comes the pressure. Good steal. Almost. Hinkle comes up with it. Good deed by Farms. Hinkle to the hole. Left-handed. She gets fouled. Nice take. Very strong well, take. She's done done that twice tonight. I had not. She's not shown us a lot of extra ball handling skills, but she's done a good job tonight. First one good. No, it came out. I'm sorry. In and out. That one's good. Four and a half left, 60 to 25. Central's gonna stay in the zone. Arms from way down. And it's good. Samantha with a three. Southern putting the pressure on. Bailey gonna handle it. She gets it up. She's hard though. She's not stopping. She and she would draw the foul. That's going to put them to the center of the line again to extend the lead. Four minutes left. And now we're seeing the clock moving continuously. It, it ran until they gave the ball. I think on free throws, it'll, it runs continually, except on free throws until the official says stop it when they yeah. get the ball, I believe. First one's good. Second one, good as well. Pretty good game for Bailey. She's... Uh, He's done a good job. Bailey now with six points. I like seeing her help handle the ball. Five assists tonight from Miss yep. O'Brien. They're going to, another turnover by the Lady Eagles. They're going to do 
I tell you, people are going to do everything they can to keep the ball out of Laren Brooks' hands, and it's tough to do because she's still, it is. But you've got to have a few other players that can relieve that a little bit, get some dribbling in. <laughs> Central coming down. Kick out. Out top, Christian. Nice move by Haley. Oh, no good. The rebound, Lanham. Farms with the ball, bringing it down. That's her third rebound. Go along with 13 points. She leads Madison Southern scoring. In Lanham, good up and under. She and got she fouled. Draws a foul from Singer. Brenda's had a rough night shooting tonight. She Two has. Nine. They've been, yeah. She's up with a free throw. She's had a had a tough night, but she's battled. She has battled, eight but thousand. no quit. But she's liked to score. She's got eight rebounds. But she's hit the boards pretty hard. Hinkle and O'Brien come out, get some more substitutes in. Who we got All in? All starters out now. Okay. Who we got in? We got number two, Emily Willoughby in the game. Three, Emily Fultz. To go along Play with the other three. And the other three we we said we had in there. So here we go, Chris. Haley takes it in. Into Willoughby. She's going to handle it. A lot of pressure. Man, she handles the ball well, right and left. Nice She's little going take the all hole. the way down the lane. Good rebound by a senior. Couldn't oh, get a hold of it. it. And a lot of scrum, scrum on the floor. Emily comes out with, Come out with it. Raven Kane from 18. Good. Yeah, good. Two twenty-five left. We have a kickball. What do we get? Got a I kick ball? I guess it's kickball. Mm -hmm. All right. Southern with it. Central staying in the three-two. Long corner three by Willis. Good. No good. Nice good rebound. rebound by Kane. Kane really protects it. Here comes Willoughby. Nice two-man game over to Christian. Nice, pass. Good. nice bounce pass. Wow. That's some young kids doing some things right there. Willoughby, she's a sophomore over to Haley Christian. She's a junior. Some valuable minutes coming Shot here. Shot is up. Just off the mark. Christian with the rebound. Inside of Willoughby, she's going to pull it back out. Drives baseline, nothing there. Block, good block by Lanham. Then Lanham commits the foul on Singer. Aaron Singer go to the line, first time tonight. Sickle well, shot the free throws well tonight. They have. Singer, the left-handed free throw, good. Subs Two more substitutes are coming in. We've got number 14, Lindsey John. She's an eighth grader. She's an eighth grader. And then I didn't see the other number down there, Donald, in the second spot. I uh, cannot see it. That Second free throw, no good. Number 30, Candy Everly. Miss Everly, there you go. Battle on the ground. Looks like that's going to go against uh, one of the Southern players. Minute eight left. Clock is still moving. No, it stops. Hey, yeah, they get when it gets to the player. Everly to the line. First Missed one, no person. good. Something's well, going to be disappointed about the loss, no doubt. But yes. you know, they're going to the eleventh region tournament. They they battled. They were in. The, they showed some good things. I, I hope she can keep the young kids with a good attitude, and and I hope Sarah Smith is okay. Uh, so, uh, girls regional starts Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. They will draw tomorrow. See who plays who. Mass Central will be a winner. They will play a loser of another district, as we said. And Mass Southern has to match up against a district winner. John's with a backboard shot there. Nice move. This regional tournament looks to be very exciting on paper. Oh, good rebound. Clark, nice oh, ball foul. It away. Down 21 seconds. Arms going to the hole. John's with the rebound. Off the mark. He's dribbling it out to Willoughby. Good pass. Up and no good. She's going to go to the line 4-2. 
Clock stopped 10 seconds to go. She'll shoot her free throws and we'll be about done. Once we finish up, Don, we'll take a minute or two and we'll make sure and let, we're going to have our Renfro's Paint and Collision Player of the Game to announce. I think we're both in agreement who that's going to be. I believe it's pretty obvious. But uh, pretty impressive second half for the Lady Really Indians. impressive. They, they were kind of low and went on. First out. quarter, Indians came out a little slow, 14 to 13. But in the second, third quarter, they, they just took, outscored took Southern, 35 to 7. That's no good. Never looked back. 10 seconds. And again, uh, Southern, you know, they get the right draw. They can cause somebody some trouble in that tournament next week. That's going to do it. That's the ball game. That's the ball game. Madison Central Lady Indians, 44th District Champion, 69 to 30. Good effort on both teams. Central got out of here. Nobody hurt. Southern got some experience playing against a great Hopefully team. Hopefully no one's hurt. Exactly. And hopefully Sarah Smith is okay. Uh, Don, you made some points throughout the game. Those quarters what took over for Central. Uh, again, I think they hit the shots. And, and you know, anything else you want to add? That's Central's fourth straight district title. Okay. They've done, you know, I think we they've got a bigger goal in mind. Yep. But they had to get through this. And I think the second quarter on will be something positive Coach Cookson can work for. Uh, got good play all the way around. I think we're in unanimous with decision. Our Renfro's paint collision player of the game is going to be Laren Brooks. Laren had a huge stat. night. She had 24 points to go along with four rebounds, six assists, three steals, and four. What'd she end up with? 24. 24. 24 she ended up with 24 points. points. Nice, there you go. Nice job. I tell you, she she you know I tell you the biggest impressive thing I saw was when. Feldhouse was out, and they were kind of lulling. She popped in there, and you could see it in her eyes. She hit she two big three-pointers. Into the second poof. quarter, she scored the last six points yep. to take it from a, I believe it was a 14-point lead or so, yep. down to a 20. Yep, so, so took it on to out there. Um, again, we're finished for the 44th District Championship. Lady Indians come out on top of the Lady Eagles. Both, both good efforts, both teams. And we will see you next week in the regional tournament. The Boys 44th Championship coming up next. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Premier Rehab specializes in orthopedic physical therapy for pain and injuries from sports, work, and automobile accidents. And they specialize in rehabilitation following orthopedic surgery, including the shoulder, knee, ankle, and spine. And they provide expert personalized care that produces outstanding results. All therapists have a minimum of 10 years experience. Premier Rehab is the only locally owned rehabilitation agency in Richmond. And in 2012, the people of Madison County voted Premier Rehab as the best outpatient physical therapy clinic in Madison County. So when you need physical therapy, it's always your choice where you go for therapy. Choose a local company staffed with hometown professionals. Choose Premier Rehab, located at 370 Highland Park Drive, Suite 1. Premier Rehab Services. Thanks to our great sponsors, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Gobel in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Renfro's Paint and Collision in Richmond and Berea, Eastside Community Church, Richmond, Premier Home Care and Premier Rehab, Guardian Bank, Hopper's Jewelry, Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, Richmond, WKYT.com, Berea Online, Richmond Tourism, and the Richmond Chamber of Commerce. I want you to watch Madison County School Sports Television. Sickline Aids Guitar Parts, now at Davenport Custom Guitars, right here in Richmond at 807 East Main Street. Check them out now. Go where the professionals go.
Hey everybody, do you know that Richmond, Kentucky Tourism now has an iPhone app? Go to richmondkytourism.com to download yours today. You know, fans, when we were uh, actually doing a ball game, Randy and I talk a lot of times about how important rebounding, turnovers, and free throw shooting, how important those three things are. And uh, what we thought we'd do today is show you the free throw shooting part is really important. We always say on the, on the air, free throws, you got to make them. Why? Because they're free. They're free. So they named them that for a reason. So we're going to do a little uh, free throw shooting competition, best out of five between Randy and I. And we'll just show you how easy free throws are to make. So as you can see, Randy, they are free. What's so hard about free throws? Come on, boys and girls, hit your free throws. You'll win the game. Twenty-four hours, seven days a week, twenty-four-seven. Madison County School Sports dot com. Okay, are you tired of stepping into that shower and risking serious injury? Well, no more. Check out Premier Home Care's walk-in shower systems. Come by Premier Home Care and let them show you how easy it is to install a brand new walk-in shower system. Don't risk injury anymore. Get a walk-in shower system from Premier Home Care. There's no place like home to heal. Hey everybody, be a friend of Madison County School Sports Television on Facebook, MCS TV on Facebook. Log on and like us now. Davenport Custom Guitars, get them to build you a great custom Telecaster or Stratocaster. Davenport Custom Guitars at 807 East Main Street, right here in Richmond. Go where the professionals go. Davenport Custom Guitars. Renfro's Collision, the only body shop with two Madison County locations, is here to serve you. At Renfro's Collision, you can look forward to the best possible repair experience. We have the latest tools, training, equipment, and technology. We have what others don't have. Why take the risk with someone else? Contact us at 369-4111 for a completely free estimate. It's your car, it's your choice. Don't let an insurance company tell you otherwise. Renfro's Paint and Collision, 369-4111. 